I've had this bike over a year now, which is quite a long time for me, and I've given it a really good service, and mechanically I'm quite happy with it. Just had an MOT and a, a new back tyre, so it, you know, it's good to go. The one thing I've always wanted to do, and intended right from the start, was to address some of the cosmetics on it. Originally this bike was uh, the one that had the sort of the yellow sort of stripy flames coming up the side on black and somewhere along the way it's ended up entirely black. Guy who sold it to me said something along the lines of one of the previous owners didn't like the yellow stickers, peeled them off and then had to have it repainted black. I know it's had a little bit of a, a slide here and there because I've uh, fixed some of the things that have been caused by that. So it's possible that it was just damaged and someone's repainted it. The thing is, the paint's not the best in the world. It is a little bit soft, so it, it dulls quite quickly. You can get a good shine on it, but it never sort of lasts more than a week or so. Now, I could strip it all back and put new stickers on and paint it and you know do the whole work. The bike isn't really worth doing that but it is worth improving. When I got it I actually got two sets of stickers with it. I got a set of what are like the original yellow ones and a set of gold and silver ones. Now my preference is for the gold and silver and I think the person before me had got them because he'd had the wheels done powder coated gold to match with that. So I think with gold and silver stickers on, it could look quite good. If it doesn't work out, then I'll paint it black again. I've got black 2K paint sat there waiting, so I can just do that. I'm not intending to try and do the whole bike in one go. I mean, this could be handy for someone who's got a bike that's been painted one colour and they've, uh, they've got a sticker kit, or they can get a sticker kit, and they're thinking, well, I might want to refresh it. So this could work for, you know, for other people. I'm going to do the tank and I'm going to do these side panels first. I'm going to get it stripped down, get these off, get that off, get the tank emptied, wet sand it, stickers on, clear coat. Let's see if this turns into the lovely swan I hope it does. Or whether it turns into another uh, carbuncle that I uh, get rid of on my marketplace. Before I wet sand it, I'm going to give it a good wipe over with panel wipe to get any initial sort of greases and stuff off. Then I'm going to wet sand it. I'm going to use a fairly light grade paper. Um, then see what it looks like and if it's okay, then I'll get the transfers on. Typically, what started off as a reasonable clear day has turned into a nice bright sunny one. And at this point I'm thinking, I wish I'd left the tank on and gone for a ride instead. But what I'm going to do now is I'm using 1200 grit, soapy water, and literally I just want to make it matte and take anything else off the surface. I'm not expecting to get rid of every gouge and dint. Just make it matte. The good thing with using wet and dry is that as you wet it, it takes off the residue off here, so it keeps the, the piece of paper you're using fresher for quite a lot longer. Got to be careful on corners because I really don't want to go through the corners if I can avoid it. So what I'll do is I will now carefully do this for quite a while, give it a wash off and see how it looks. I'll let you see what it's like then. And while I'm letting the tank dry, I'll get on with one of the other panels. Again, panel wipe, just to get off any of the surface residue, then I'll uh, wet sand it, 1200 grit, and see how that looks. On to round two of wet sanding. What you're looking for is where 
you think you've done a good job but you've still got quite shiny bits so you just want to knock them down till they're all a, an even colour now I can see that whoever painted it before there are a couple of what I think are fish eyes I'm probably going to end up still with them in it um, I'm not going to try and sand all the way down to them we'll see how it goes I think it'll work out all right it's a uh, it's one of them let's give it a go see what happens but all these shiny bits need to be matte after a couple of hours or so they're by no means perfect but they're at the stage now where I think I'll go to uh, putting on the decals I've got multiple photos of uh, the positioning of these decals and none of them look to be quite the same so I'm actually going to aim to fit them like this so the thing I'm looking at is that that hollow on the tank where you perhaps your arms would go where the badge is that's what I'm going to use as my sort of baseline to judge the other ones from and I'm just going to eyeball it I'm sure it'll be okay I've got this one that's going to go somewhere like that then I've got this one and there's that flat I was talking about this goes underneath it now there's quite a few little curves and things here so I'm a bit concerned about how that will go on I think I'll get the um, hot air gun on the, uh, on the ready for this and then the bit that I'm really a bit uncertain of is this one is supposed to actually lap over that yeah so I think what I'll do is I'll try and make the Honda go level with that so no matter what it'll look level with that and I think I'm going to go with this particular bit of the feather is it? I've never actually thought what this wing is just on the curve of that now where forward and backwards I'm not 100% sure I'm thinking that I'm going to try to get this to go just before the curve there now I will give it a final wipe before I do this I'm trying to get it into my mind I'm about to cross the part of the project with this where there's no turning back and it could turn into a disaster some people say it's already turned into a disaster but we'll see right so I think panel wipe get the nice uh, soapy liquid scraper we'll put these on see what they look like found with a lot of these things get to this stage you just go for it so first of all let's peel off the backing paper so the actual sticker itself stays with the carrier whoops let's not get ahead of ourselves there that one's off Jobs are good. So, this is going to go on here. Like that. And let's put some water on where we want it to go. The wetter, the better. What you don't want, no. put some on this side as well. Now I think I've got that curve near enough on the edge. is 
where that's going to. It looks okay, doesn't it? Basically what you actually want is all the water out. Now let's see if this will peel off. I must admit I've had these come off easier in the past. But to be honest it's looking pretty good. with that. I have a couple of bubbles I need to think about. Not the end of the world though. You tend to find that if you leave it to dry these bubbles might actually sort themselves out. I'll probably leave them and then get on with the next one. That's going to look pretty good. I am well pleased with that. So the next one goes here. So again, trying to match this to this curve where it curves away. Now I am quite concerned about this one because there's multiple curves. Admit it, you thought this was going to be a total disaster. I know I did. It's actually coming out reasonably well now. Right, now the next is the Honda badge. And obviously, <laughs> got to make sure I've got the right side. Now I'm going to put that in so that the Honda overlaps onto this and the wing is just onto there and I'll try and match the other side to it. I mean, it's got to be reasonably close. Oh, come on, leave the A behind. Oh yeah, it has. There we go. Looks beautiful. Let's see how much I can destroy this.
Now let's see, can we get Honda to stay Honda? doing this get a good heat gun where you can control the temperature I think I'm really pleased with that I don't think anyone could be any otherwise Before I sort the clear coat out, I'll give them a really good panel wipe and make sure the stickers are well stuck down. And then I'll give them a spray with this uh, adhesion aid. Now it always makes me nervous this because it goes on quite thick even though you try not to. And you always feel like you're going to leave stains. And I remember one time using it where there was a run, I hadn't spotted a little drip and then I could see it through the paint. What I'm doing is leaving this for an hour and then I'm going to uh, panel wipe it again. Then I'll get the clear coat on it. Despite the fact that the young guns relegated me to the washer up now, I'm actually gonna spray this clear coat myself, seeing as he's out earning a living. I'm using this Capsi 6030, which I've had good results with. I'm gonna make up 300, so it's two to one, 200 of that, 100 of that. Then up to 30 mi uh, milliliters of uh, fast 2k thinners which we've got from our local supplier um, the more thinners you put in the more likely you are to get sags and runs but the better it'll flow it's a balancing act I'm intending to put on 
you know, as thinner coats as I can, and perhaps three, maybe even four. I don't want to get runs if I can avoid it, but I do want a reasonably thick coating, and I'm gonna take it sort of fairly gently. Obviously, I've got a 3M mask because it's a 2K product. You need to make sure you're safe. And I'm using our Annie F160 Silver Gun. felt that there was perhaps a little bit too much uh, orange peel and nibs and things. So what I've decided to do, and it's a it's really good practice to be honest, I'm going to wet sand it all again, especially the edges, and then I'm going to put another, at least one coat, maybe two coats of clear, a light coat and a thicker coat, hopefully so I don't get as much orange peel next time.
that's the job done as far as I'm taking it at the moment. I've been round and checked all the fasteners again, put some fuel in it, make sure it starts and it doesn't leak. Now I'm very very pleased with this, it's come out quite well. I wasn't sure at first whether the black paint that was underneath would work in the way that I hoped it would and it's, it's been absolutely fine. It isn't a professional job, you can see where some of the clear coat is perhaps a little bit thin and having painted outside and the first bit I did, I know not to paint in full sun. I didn't think the sun was coming out and it did cause more orange peel so that didn't really hurt because I did a second coat on it I did a, another wet sand and a coat on it and it's actually improved it massively now I'm very pleased with it have a look round see what you think of it Now you may be asking yourself, what about the fairing? Well, I'm not sure when I'm gonna to get to that. Part of me says next week, part of me says next month, but I'm so excited by this, I am quite enthused to get on with it. If you've enjoyed this, why not subscribe, see if I do do the rest of the paint on here. And uh, we've got lots of videos on cars and bikes and uh, <laughs> new ones coming up. Uh, so it's, yeah, some interesting stuff. But whether you subscribe or not, thanks very much for watching.